future female robots can give birth to a baby robot of their own and also can celebrate Mother's Day. Do you think that's far-fetched? Wait till you hear what we have in store for you. The idea of a mechanical robot giving birth to a child seems absurd. However, many of the technologies we use today began as an outlandish concept at one point or another. With Amped Up Tech, let's dive into the dynamic fields of artificial intelligence and robotics and explore what lies ahead in terms of robots developing and becoming capable of extremely complex biological mechanisms, such as getting pregnant and giving birth. So stay tuned until the end. Japan has been at the forefront of robotics research and development for many years and has made a significant advancement in the field. Some of the notable developments include humanoid robots that are designed to mimic human movements and behavior, such as Asimo by Honda, Pepper by SoftBank Robotics, and RoboV by Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International, or ATR. Medical robots that can assist in surgeries, diagnose illnesses, and help with rehabilitation. Examples include the Da Vinci Surgical System and HAL Exoskeleton. Industrial robots that are used in manufacturing and production, with companies such as Fanuc, Yaskawa Electric, and Hawazaki Heavy Industries leading the way. Service robots. Japan has also developed robots designed for service and entertainment, such as Paro, a therapeutic robot designed to provide comfort to elderly patients, and Abo, a robotic dog companion. In the past, roboticists in Japan have created small robots that resemble infants, such as the Afeto robots developed by Osaka University. These robots are not intended to be companions or entertainment devices, but rather tools for research purposes to study human-robot interaction and social development. These are just a few examples of Japan's advancements in robotics. The country continues to invest in research and development in the field, with the goal of creating robots that can assist with tasks that are difficult or dangerous for humans. Japanese humanoids are some of the most advanced robots in the world, both in terms of their hardware and software capabilities. Japan has a long history of developing humanoid robots, and several of the world's most famous humanoids have been developed in Japan. Some examples of advanced Japanese humanoid robots include Asimo. Asimo, developed by Honda, is one of the most famous humanoid robots in the world. It stands four feet tall and is capable of walking, running, jumping, and even dancing. Pepper. Pepper, developed by SoftBank Robotics, is designed to interact with humans in a social setting. It can recognize faces and emotions and engage in conversations with people. Robohon. Robohon, developed by Sharp and Tomotaka Takahashi, is a small humanoid robot that can function as a smartphone. It can make calls, send messages, and even take pictures. These robots are designed to mimic human behavior and are capable of performing a range of tasks, from walking and talking to serving as companions for the elderly. However, it is important to note that while these robots are advanced, they're not yet able to replicate all aspects of human behavior or intelligence. So, to make these robots more human-like and to have them advanced biological experiences such as getting pregnant and giving birth, scientists and robotic engineers are working day and night. And, as a result of which, the biorobotics revolution is about to begin. The term biot, which means biological robot, is a smart adjective. Several new disciplines are bridging the gap between biology and robotics. Cybernetics, bionics, biomimicry, and synthetic biology are only a few examples. 3D printers will be used to create human tissue, stem cells, and even artificial blood cells in this scenario. Bone, cartilage, muscle, teeth, organs, blood arteries, and even ears may be printed using other 3D manufacturing equipment. Do you still find all of this far-fetched? Well, Science has proven time and time again that our perception and understanding are as limited as they can be, and that there's hardly anything that is unattainable. It might take decades for an idea to flourish and completely materialize, but it's never impossible. Science has been relentlessly trying to integrate human behavior and biological responses into AI-powered robots for a long time, and in their pursuit, we've seen several remarkable and truly commendable milestones, such as cloning and artificial womb technology. With the cloning of Dolly, the sheep in 1996, the science of cloning became well known. Hundreds of other animals, including camels, dogs, deer, horses, monkeys, cows, frogs, rabbits, and many others, have been cloned since then. Human cloning has been long considered a logical outgrowth of animal research, 
offering an identical genetic clone of any individual. There's a distinction to be made between natural clones and manufactured clones, which appear like identical twins in humans and other species. Gene cloning, reproductive cloning, and therapeutic cloning are the three forms of artificial cloning. However, it is important to note that the technology is not yet advanced enough to safely and reliably clone humans. Additionally, many countries, including Japan, have laws and regulations in place to prevent human cloning. With that said, let's not forget how artificial womb technology came into existence. Emanuel Greenberg invented the first artificial womb in 1955, which was more than 60 years ago. Japanese researchers succeeded in nurturing goat babies in a machine containing artificial amniotic fluid for weeks in the mid-1990s. The lowest gestational age for human embryos to survive has been pushed down to less than 22 weeks, thanks to recent advancements in neonatal intensive care. This is only about halfway through a typical 40-week pregnancy. The technology isn't nearly as far-fetched as it appears. As a replacement organ, an artificial uterus might be used in a variety of ways. With this quick rundown of some of the most recent developments, the thought of a robot giving birth to a baby, whether a baby human or a baby robot, no longer seems so alien. Controlling weather, gravity and time have long been theoretical sciences that have progressed from science fiction to science realities, and the notion of robots giving birth to robots is approaching the same point. One such effort is made by Gomard Scientific, a medical simulation company based in Miami, which developed a robot named Victoria that simulates childbirth and is used for medical training purposes. According to the company's website, Victoria is a high-fidelity simulator that can simulate multiple birth scenarios, including normal deliveries, complicated deliveries, and emergency situations. The simulator is designed to provide healthcare professionals with realistic training experiences to enhance their skills and prepare them for real-life scenarios. While Victoria can simulate the process of childbirth, she does not have autonomy or the ability to make decisions or perform tasks on her own. Rather, she is a medical simulation tool that is controlled and operated by human trainers. And then we have Xenobots, the world's first AI-designed biological robots that can self-repair and self-replicate. The year was 1948, when Hungarian-American mathematician John von Neumann proposed the idea of an autonomous robot capable of using raw materials to reproduce itself. Today, Newman's vision is finally realized with one major twist. The self-replicating robot isn't made of aluminium, plastics, spur gears, or sprockets. The parent robot and its babies, a new lineage of organisms called xenobots, are entirely biological. The self-replicating xenobot was first conceived by an artificial intelligence program working on UVM's supercomputer. The AI ran an evolutionary algorithm capable of testing billions of biological body shapes in a simulation. The goal was to discover which configuration of cells is capable of self-replication. The AI rendered a winning design, a cluster of cells shaped like Pac-Man from the 1980s arcade game. Biologist Douglas Blackiston took the AI's blueprint and used micro electrodes and surgical forceps to hand sculpt the xenobots. Creatures made up of clusters of 4,000 to 5,000 frog cells swimming in a petri dish. Random frog cells added to the dish give the parent xenobots raw material to make babies inside their Pac-Man shaped mouths. The xenobabies grow into parent xenobots. By adding frog cells, self-replication continues generation after generation. Sculpting a bespoke shape out of a stem cell is the programming that instructs cell clusters to develop a certain way. Shaping a cluster of frog cells in this specific configuration programs them to become a new self-replicating life form. This is basically an AI designing life, or designing a robot, whatever you want to call it. And these are things that are not under the purview of natural selection. Now, with all that already happening in the world, it should not come as a surprise that very soon, one of these AI-powered robots will actually get pregnant and will also give birth just like any other living beings. And Japan has a very good reason to get this feat before anyone else because of its declining population. So, drastic measures are attempted in order to save the population. And that's all for today, folks. We hope that you enjoyed the facts we brought you about Japanese robots becoming capable of conception and the possibilities it will bring in the future. If yes, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, Amped Up Tech. For more such informative videos, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. Until then, 
Peace out.